briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a vital court case from 1928, Meinhard v. Salmon, the New York Court of Appeals highlighted the importance of unyielding loyalty in business partnerships, concluding that partners must consistently act in each other's best interest and reject any covert attempts to commandeer business opportunities without informing their partners. Walter Salmon and Mortimer Meinhard formed such a partnership, crafting a joint venture to oversee the management of the well-known Hotel Bristol in New York City. Salmon, the acting manager, inked a deal with Midpoint Realty Company for a lease agreement, yet failed to disclose this development to Meinhard. This clandestine operation prompted Meinhard to request the lease be recognized as an asset of their joint venture. However, Salmon rebuffed this proposition, leading to contention and eventual legal proceedings. The court initially discovered that Salmon had, in fact, violated his duty of undivided loyalty when he covertly monopolized the lease extension's benefits. Contrary to an argument posed by Salmon's defense, the court declared that a partner could not freely purchase properties linked to the business. The majority opinion, laid down by Justice Benjamin Cardozo, pointed out that Salmon had originally secured the lease for the Hotel Bristol in the midst of bartering with Meinhard for funding. Following an agreement finally reached between the two parties, Meinhard invested money into the rehabilitation and operation of the property. Despite experiencing initial financial losses, the venture reaped success and profitability in due time. Unearthing a severe breach of loyalty, the court charged Salmon with failing to disclose the lease agreement and reaping its associated benefits for personal gain. The argument that a partner could freely acquire business-related properties was swiftly struck down by the court. Transforming the initial judgment, the court stipulated that Salmon could choose to replace the issue of the lease trust with a trust linked to the venture's stock shares. This proposed arrangement allowed Salmon to claim half of the shares plus one, with the outstanding shares allocated to Meinhard. The court further declared that Meinhard's equitable interest should be gauged by the entirety of the lease value, given that a physical division was impossible. Upholding this amended judgment, the court obligated Meinhard to bear the costs of the court proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.